turning to God is passing the test of will. Passing the last test of will on earth is your own business. And therefore your earthly life is responsible because your fate in eternity depends on you. Passing it, you can develop your will in every direction, you will not be hindered, but you have received intellect and can therefore reflect and consider all pros and cons. But you also have prayer, yet as soon as you are able, thus willing, to pray you have already passed the test of will that you turn to me. Then your heart has already spoken. But your intellect can also come to the same conclusion if your will is good, then it will also be able to recognize me in everything that surrounds it and it will also turn to me, as the creator and sustainer of all that. Yet by far the greater part of people do not use their intellect when it concerns spiritual problems, and then there is a great danger that they will not pass the test of will on earth. There is a danger that people will not seek contact with me, their God and Creator, that their will will be directed away from me, that they will see nothing but the world and live their worldly life until their death. Then their earthly life was in vain, for they cannot be forced to change their will, it must be entirely up to them which way they turn, and then they must also bear the consequences for their life in the beyond. Yet these people do not believe in a continuation of life, they do not believe that their souls are imperishable and that their earthly life has a negative effect on their soul. However, they cannot be forced to believe either, thus only one possibility remains, that they receive information about me and my working through their fellow human beings time and again and that they have to go through hardship and suffering in order to then take the path to me in their helplessness. Once his will has found its way to me I can also take hold of the human being and help him further up, but this conscious turn of will towards me has to be done by him himself, it has to take place in complete freedom of will and the human being is saved for all eternity. My adversary, however, will try everything to prevent this conscious turn of will towards me, yet time and again my love creates opportunities for the human being which cause him to turn his thoughts towards me, thus he will always be supported by me without being forced to make a decision of will, but neither can my adversary. But the soul's fate in eternity depends on the right decision of will, and therefore I will time and again point out to people through my word that they are on earth for that purpose, so that their intellect can deal with it and now also becomes active. Therefore, time and again people will receive information through my word about a God and Creator who also wants to be the father of his living creations and people will also gain knowledge but first have to adjust to it, and whoever believes will become blessed, but whoever does not believe will be met with an agonizing fate in the kingdom of the beyond, and he will still remain in torment for eternities until he, too, will one day find his way to me of his own free will. Amen.